I don't know where to begin. I, I have heard tell of the underground. I've heard tell of horrendous stories. I have heard tell of everything from Dracula's 3000 to, to Wolfman versus Frankenstein. I didn't expect to see half the shit that I saw last night. Didn't expect to see any of it. Um, but I'm your archangel bringing you the darkness that the light can't see through. Last night, apparently, there was a gathering at a park, uh, Miss Kentucky, at some park in Indianapolis. Um, I had some contacts tell me that there was some gathering of some weird folk there. It's people that only wined and dined on blood, if you will. Those who fed at night, slept during the day, couldn't be out in the sun. It was all too surreal. Uh, I saw so much. There was this weird, weird sucker that, uh, we'll call him a lick. He, he, I was able to get a passing glance while they were looking for this huge bear that I saw. This thing was, like, abnormally large, like six times bigger than the average bear. Uh, of course, I was scared of shit. Um, no one really paid any attention to me, which was great. Uh, but this was a huge bear, and it howled. I've never heard a bear howl before. Humans fell. This librarian I know, she's something sweet, very, very attractive. She got wrapped up in it somehow. There's these things, these monsters that could transform could transform into like bats and wolves and, 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 and animals it was disturbing really I I couldn't make heads or tails of it this one lick had a green eye and a red eye, he must have been mental they kept trying to get him alone for some reason. I guess the, the, he was scary or overpowerful or he had something going on. But he always demanded to have something a specific way. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Um, it all seemed too real. is just I didn't know what to expect there was this thing that kept jumping down from the trees and speaking with an adequate tone and, and having very articulate words on the way they're doing things like what the fuck it's okay I'm here to tell you listeners be careful at night I'm here to tell you things lurk in the dark the old Frankenstein versus Dracula yeah Dracula apparently exists going in and out of, of visibility these things I'm going to have to track a bit closer for the safety for you all these gatherings there's someone promoting that, that they're part of a, a, a clan, a sect, gargoyles. Like, hey, have you ever seen Doctor Who? Gargoyles exist. Living creatures with wings, stone knights with swords, gargoyles of almost every type I'm pretty sure exist. There was, a, there was only like two of them I've seen. You can't mistake a gargoyle. Those things are supposed to be made of stone, unable to move. Those things are man-made. Fuck me. It's okay. A one's name was Wade. They kept calling him Wade. And every time he had like a menace to him that would scare 
scare even the bravest of men. I just don't know what to do. I'm going to keep trailing and finding out where they're putting their gatherings and where they're holding up at. Maybe I'll be able to do something about it. Maybe. Just maybe. I can get enough information to figure out how to kill these licks. They clearly have powers beyond human... B b before beyond all human control. Mind control? Telepathy? Hell, even some of them's been able to scare others into run. I don't know what all's there. I know some of them have drug issues. Sex addicts. I don't think this is a cult. And if it is... I don't think the living, anyone living knows about it. I think I'm one of the first humans to actually see it from my own eyes and not have anything to do with it. Fangs, weird eye colors, just even the way they, they dress themselves. There was a biker gang there. The guy named the the guy running the show, his name was like Rhodes, Damien Rose. I some weird fucking name. I know the last name was Rhodes. That's all I heard. Um The one they were planning on ousting, I guess. He was able to get out. Said he was going to LA. I can't make the trip to follow the one when the when the bunch of them are there. One of them I sat back and watched as they all declared voting barren. We watched outside of a cabin. Peeking in through a window and listening. After everything had calmed down. I had to find my way out. I thought my SUV would be alright parked up there, but apparently it wasn't. They end up taking it, so I had to hike back and figure out where things are going. It's about a four or five hour hike till I came across a water treatment plant where they parked the SUVs and ditched them. I'd found mine. I forgot that I left the keys in there, though. That's a mistake I won't make next time. I just apparently one's leaving for a sire and I know sire is, is, is written in the fairy tales that they're the ones that turned they're the ones that turned those into the unliving not like a zombie but more of a, a bloodsucker a vampire something I don't even know if they use those words but I'm going to find out for the sake of you all. Well, it's getting near that time. I have to batten up. I have to get holy water. I have to go to a church. I have to go somewhere, find protection, stay hidden. Because the less they know about me, the better. But don't worry. I'll make something great. And I'll break their masquerade, I guess. But. <clears throat> it is too surreal. I'll exploit them for the monsters they are. Two weeks. I hear they have a gathering every other week. So if this was the first one, then in two weeks they'll have another. I'll find out the area, do some surveillance, take notes, then I'll tell you all the story. Until then, be safe, listeners. Don't get caught up by any licks.